That's what I call a team effort. Yes. Many hands make lights work. And many cold pots make a tasty meal. Dinner is served. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter, Jojo. Melanie hatched from an egg. Uh-huh. At first, she was a little baby chick. That's when you met her, Jojo. Yeah. Then Melanie started to grow bigger and bigger and grow more and more feathers. Whoa. Until she became the fully grown chicken she is today. But, Cran Cran, I haven't grown that much. Well, some animals grow more quickly than people. You can give Melanie a little stroke if you like. Hello, Melanie. You're a grown-up chicken now. <gasps> She's still really soft, Gran Gran. Would you like a new photo with Melanie? Yes, please! <laughs> This building's called the Hatchery. It's very special. To enter, we all have to be very, very quiet. Okay? Okay. Okay. Follow me. This is an incubator. We keep some of the eggs safe and warm in here until they're ready to hatch. <gasps> <gasps> Look, Jojo. Oh, wow. She's so tiny and fluffy. <laughs> Would you like to name her? <gasps> yes, please. I like to call her, um, Ma Marjorie. Marjorie, oh, that's a great name. making a nest for you, Panda. Hmm. But we need more leaves and twigs. Try my composting pile, Jojo. Yay! Birds build their nest in plant pots. Oh no, birds build nests in all sorts of places. You can see birds' nests on the branches of trees, inside bushes, and near water. Water? Why? Ducks build nests near water so their baby ducklings can swim in the pond. The baby ducklings are so fluffy and cute. There, finished. This nest is for one, two eggs and Panda! <laughs> Panda looks really comfortable. I love butterflies. Butterfly. Butterfly. <gasps> oh, you're not a butterfly. Oh, do you know what this is, Jojo? Hmm, it's not in my nature tick book. This is a caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, little caterpillar. Finding this caterpillar means, in a way, we've almost found a butterfly. Almost found a butterfly? What do you mean, Gran Gran? This little caterpillar is nothing like a butterfly. It's little and furry. And it doesn't have wings. That's true. But one day, this furry little caterpillar will change into a butterfly with beautiful, colourful wings. Really? This little caterpillar will change into a butterfly? Mmm. It's amazing. A caterpillar hatches from a tiny egg. <laughs> then the caterpillar eats, eats and eats until it's ready to change. Into a butterfly? Not yet. It needs a bit more time. Once the caterpillar has eaten enough, 
it hangs upside down and changes into a chrysalis. Ooh, it looks like a leaf growing ground. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? The caterpillar stays that way for a long time as it changes into a butterfly. butterfly. With beautiful, colourful wings. Wow, that's amazing. The flowers in your kitchen are all droopy, Gran Gran. <laughs> it's called wilting, Jojo. That's what happens to flowers over time. It means it's time to pop them in the compost bin. Eventually, these old flowers will turn into compost and we use compost in the garden to help new flowers grow. Ah! I hope our roses don't wilt, Gran Gran. I want to keep them forever. Oh, flowers don't last forever, Jojo. Even roses. Hmm. But if we keep them watered and take good care of them, They'll stay like this for a week or so, giving us plenty of time to admire them. Gran Gran, you forgot one! Ah, that's because there is one way to stop flowers from wilting. Jojo, I think it's time for a Gran Gran plan. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to press a flower. Press a flower? <laughs> it means pressing it flat with something heavy and leaving it to dry out. First, we're going to need some books. Oh, what about my Captain Chloe book, Gran Gran? It's very good. Hmm, we can use that to hold the flower and then we need some thick, heavy books to press down on it. <laughs> What about this book? Oh, that looks heavy enough to me. Can you see any more? Hmm, yes. No, no, and yes. <laughs> OK, first of all, let's get the bananas. Oh, no. They're still green. Why are they green, Gran Gran? Oh, it means they aren't ready yet. Bananas start out green, then turn yellow once they're ripe. We're going to make green banana bread, Panda. Oh, I'm afraid we can't, Jojo. Bananas are only sweet once they're ripe. So if we use these, our banana bread won't be very sweet. Jojo, my little sunshine, how lovely to see you. What are you up to today? Jared's coming for dinner and we were going to make banana bread for dessert. But now we can't because the bananas are still green. Oh, no! Well, I was just calling to show you the delicious green tomato salad I've made. Look at this. Green tomatoes? I thought tomatoes were red. Ah, tomatoes are green before they're sweet and ripe. Just like bananas. And you can still eat them? Oh, yes. You just have to prepare them a little differently. Jojo, that gives me an idea for a grand grand plan. We can prepare our bananas a little differently too. And make green banana and salt fish for dinner instead. Yay! What's green banana and salt fish? It's a St. Lucian classic. It's not sweet, but you'll love it, Jojo. So will Jared. See you later. Bye, great Gran Gran. Bye, Mama. Let's wash our hands and get started. It was a spring morning. The blossom was on the trees. The sun was peeking through the clouds. And Jojo and Gran Gran, that's me, were playing on the swings in the park. That's it, Jojo. You've got it. Whee <laughs> I'm going as high as the clouds, Gran Gran. <laughs> You have to keep your feet, Panda, like this. <laughs> Whee-hee! Oh. Oh, I think it's going...
going to rain. Oh, and I haven't brought my umbrella. Aww. Oh, it's time to get a wiggle on, Jojo. Race you to the bandstand. Come on, Panda. <laughs> We still have to check the weather forecast, Gran Gran. Oh, hopefully it won't rain for long. I can already see the sun peeking through the clouds. <gasps> Look, Gran Gran. It's a rainbow! <laughs> this is the first stop on our sensory safari. And it's all about what we can smell. Flowers smell very nice. <sighs> oh, they do. What's the next stop on our safari, Gran Gran? At the next stop, it's all about what sounds we can hear. Hi, Cynthia! Hiya! Oh, hello, Jojo. Gran Gran. We're on a sensory safari. Oh! Oh, exciting! And we're using our ears to listen for sounds. There are lots of sounds in the community garden. <gasps> I can hear something. Wow! It's a squirrel! Ah, oh, what else can you hear, Jojo? I can hear... something else. Oh, it's a bird. You heard a sparrow. Keep, keep, keep. Bye, sparrow. Now we're going to look for things we can feel and see. It's almost time for lunch. Gran Gran, I'm not JJ. Oh. Ta da! Oh. Ah. I'm Super JJ. Hello, Super JoJo. And I'm here to help Gran Gran. Would you like me to carry that for you? I'm super strong. <laughs> well, if you're sure. <gasps> to the garden! <sighs> Ta da! Thank you, Jojo. Gran Gran, I'm not JJ. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. Thank you, Super Jojo. <laughs> oh, I left the pegs inside. Don't worry, I can get them for you with my super speed. Whoosh. <laughs> oh, here you are. Thank you, Super Jojo. You're welcome, Gran Gran. Would you like to see my other superpowers? Oh yes, please.
that your great great grand grand made? Oh, great grand grand didn't just make this kite, Jojo. She repaired it too, lots of times. Ooh. Which gives me an idea for a grand grand plan. We'll repair the kite again, and I know just what to use. <laughs> Grand-Grand will like it. Let's ask her. Jojo, my little sunshine. Are you having fun with the kite? Yes, it was lots of fun. But then I let it go and it blew away. And then Grand-Grand got it back, but it had a rip. But we repaired it with Jojo's drawing. Super Panda! Oh, I love it! I had to fix that kite lots of times, too. <laughs> now, when you fly the kite, Super Panda will be flying in the sky as well. What are you drawing, Jojo? It's a menu for my own cafe. Oh, is that me? Yes, you're the chef. It's called Jojo and Grand Grand's Cafe. And it's very special because it sells solution food. There's macaroni pie, panda's favourite, callaloo soup, fried plantain, and bakes. Jojo, I think it's time for a grand grand plan. We can use your menu to open our own cafe at home. We're ready to open. Welcome to Jojo and Grand Grand's Cafe. Can I take your order, please? Jojo, I think we've forgotten something. The menu! Here you are, Panda. There you go, Hugo. What can I get for you? Mm-hmm. Yes. Of course. And for you, Hugo? Mm hmm Good choice. I'll tell the chef. <laughs> <laughs> chef Grand Grand! So now, the swallows don't need to go away for winter. They can have a holiday here. Oh, Jojo, this is really very beautiful. But the swallows will still find it too chilly out here. Hmm... I know. It's much warmer in Grand Grand's kitchen, Panda. The swallows can come in here. Birds migrate for other reasons too, Jojo. Oh. They might look for more food or somewhere safe to lay their eggs. Why don't we keep your holiday until the swallows come back in spring? They can enjoy it then. But that's ages away. Hmm. Jojo, I think it's time for a grand grand plan. You'll need your nature tick book, Jojo. Now, you wait here while I carry this bird food outside. We all need to be very quiet and very still. OK? OK. Look there, Jojo. <gasps> Whoa! There are so many birds 
Gran Gran. And there's my favourite, Robin. Swallows fly to warmer countries in the winter, but lots of birds stay here all year round. So until the swallows come back in the spring, we can spot lots of different birds in the garden. What are you up to, Jojo? <laughs> are you ready to start building your den? Ready! I just needed a hat, like Cynthia. <laughs> Me and Panda always build the walls first. Panda? Panda! <laughs> there you are, Panda. Hello, Panda. Are you going to supervise? Yes, Panda. You supervise. Please. I think there's only room for one person in this den, Jojo. Oh. Gran Gran? Yes, Jojo? Can we build a bigger den? If we want to build a bigger den, I think we'll need to follow a plan. Like Cynthia's? A bit like Cynthia's. Yeah! Oops! for you, Gran Gran, and a strawberry for you, Panda. <laughs> <laughs> we can't eat them just yet, Jojo. Do you remember what we have to do first? Yes, give them a wash, just like Marta said. Here, Jojo. You swish them around in the cold water. Swish, swish, swish. Oops. Sorry, Panda. I think it's time for a grand grand party. <laughs> we can preserve our leftover strawberries by turning them into delicious strawberry jam. Then our strawberries will last for a long time. A very long time. Now, while I make the jam, can you make the labels? Uh huh. Come on, Panda. Now I need to be careful because this jam is very hot. There we are, strawberry jam that will last a very long time. Mmm, yummy. yummy. I think I found a glue, Gran Gran. That's a space t shirt. Maybe the person who owns this teddy loves space. I know. Isaiah has lots of books about space. It must be his teddy. Oh, yes. Let's go and find him. Hi, everyone. Hi. Isaiah! Jojo! 
we're on a detective hunt to find the owner of this teddy. That's a cool space T-shirt. That's the clue I found. Because he loves space, it made me think this is your teddy. But this teddy isn't mine, Jojo. Oh. Oh, don't worry, Jojo. Let's see if we can find any more clues on the teddy. I found another clue. Oh. That could be from someone's clothes. <gasps> Raya's got blue gloves. It must be Raya's teddy. Let's go and find her. Bye, Isaiah. Bye. See you, Jojo. See you later. Hello. Hello. Raya. Hi, Jojo. We're on a detective hunt to find out whose teddy this is. I've got this clue. Can I see your gloves, please? OK. Oh, the colour of the thread isn't the same. I thought the blue thread was from your blue gloves. That's why I thought it was your teddy. Sorry, Jojo. It's not my teddy. Oh. Don't worry, Detective Jojo. Let's try and find another clue. Detective Gran Gran, this label has two mountains on it. Jojo and Gran Gran.